Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Nanini's Virtual Learning Academy. Today I want to talk to you about missing add-in math. I know it's something that we have been working on for a long, long, long time, but it's also one of those skills if you don't use it, you tend to lose it. So I want to make sure that we are ready for third grade by remembering how to find a missing add-in. Today we're only going to work with addition. There will be another video coming out in the next few days or maybe after spring break about missing numbers and subtraction problems. But let's remember that when we have an addition problem, the first two numbers, the ones around the plus sign, are always going to be the smaller numbers. The biggest number is going to come at the end after the equal sign because we're taking these two parts and putting them together in order to get the biggest number, the sum. Okay, so today we have box plus 18 equals 40. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. First of all, I usually teach kids to flip this around so that I know what the first number is. And remember, order doesn't matter when you're adding. So you can take 18 plus box equals 40. That's one way that you can do it. You can flip flop that problem and put the known number first and the box in the middle. That helps me with the strategy of counting on. So I'm gonna count on from 18 until I get to the next number that's a multiple of 10. 18, 19, 20. So 18 plus two more puts me at 20. And from 20, I can count on by tens. 20 plus 10 more is 30. Add another 10, that's 40, right? So let's count up what I've got. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus two more is 22. So I think that 18 plus 22 is 40. Now what I really need to do is double check my answer. I'm gonna double check by drawing out 18. 18 is 10 and eight ones. And then I'm gonna see if when I put these two numbers together, when I combine them, I come up with the sum of 40. I'm gonna count my tens first. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And I know some of you are out there going, eight plus two is a 10, eight plus two is a 10. Make that a 10. Would have saved me a lot of time, wouldn't it? 10. 20, 30, 40. So 18 plus 22 is 40, or 22 plus 18 equals 40. Remember those strategies? Yeah? Let's try it with a slightly harder problem. Let me just erase. And let's try box plus 26 equals 65. Box plus 26 equals 65. Okay, I'm gonna put my known add in first and I'm gonna flip flop my problem so that the box, the missing number is in the middle. I like it that way. You can still work it exactly the same way, leaving the problem like this. I just like mine to be in a certain order. So I'm gonna flip flop 26 plus box equals 65. Now, what I'm gonna do is start at 26 and count on by ones until I get to the nearest multiple of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, one of those numbers. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so I got to 30, that's a multiple of 10. Now from here I can keep counting on by tens, that's right. So this is 30, plus 10 more is 40, plus 10 more is 50, plus 10 more is 60. If I add another 10, I'm at 70. That's too much. So I can't keep counting by tens. Instead, 
To get from 60 to 65, I have to count by ones. So 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. All right, let's see what I think my answer is. First, I'm gonna count my tens. 10, 20, 30. Now my ones, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So I think my answer is 39, but I've got to double check. Remember when you're doing an addition problem, draw this number, draw this number, and when I combine them, when I count them all up, it should come up with this exact sum. So I'm gonna draw 20 and six, and I'm gonna to listen to you guys this time, and I'm gonna remember that these six plus these four ones can combine to make a 10. So now I'm gonna count that as a group of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So 26 plus 39 is 65. Now the cool thing about practicing this concept is you can choose to do this at home and you can practice with your own numbers. You can make these up as you go. Put the box here or put the box here. The unknown number doesn't matter because order doesn't matter when you're adding. The only thing you have to make sure of is this number is smaller than your sum. The sum has to be big enough so that when you add these two numbers together, you can get this bigger number. Now, I'm gonna give you one to try on your own. I'm just gonna flash it up. I'm gonna trust you to write it down and give it a try. And if you'd like to send me a copy of your answer and how you solved the problem, I would love to see your work, all right? Last one, box plus 32 equals 75. Box plus 32 equals 75. All right, write it down, solve it. Remember, I flipped, then I counted on, then I drew both numbers and added them up to make sure that we came up with a sum of 75. If I didn't come up with a sum of 75 when I drew these two numbers out and counted them up, that's a sign that I probably got something wrong and I need to check my work again. All right, I look forward to seeing your answers and hearing back from you guys. Love you, bye.